Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a ranked game in my druid, going over, going over the matchmaking. Excuse me, the enemy team has a Kerfer, Shieflin, Kremlin, Minotaur, Venezia, and Z52. The map is Loop, 3 cap domination. And we are going to kick this one off with a little lesson playing chess. And what I mean by playing chess is good chess players are are playing they're not just playing the the move that they're making they're playing the game two three or more moves ahead of their current move in their head and you can see I'm looking at the map or, or I'm looking at the matchmaking again and and what I'm doing is I'm thinking about everything that I know of this game the patterns that I've seen for how ships have played uh, over, I, I don't probably fairly close to 10,000 games at this point. And what's drawing my attention is the Z52 and the Minotaur. It's ranked battle, so the Minotaur is probably running radar. He's probably going to be pushing aggressive with the Destroyer. And the Z-52, with his Hydro, they have a very strong propensity towards diving islands and, and relying on their Hydro to flush out the enemy DD. So, I am not going to do that. I've got a Stalingrad with me, so he's got that nice 12 kilometer radar that the Russians have. And I am going to push up here and see if I can't spark an ambush early on. I'm in a Druid. I've got 100% DPM bow in, so it's uh, it's not a huge deal for me to bow tank a Minotaur in this engagement. So that's what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to get outside of six kilometers from this this island, get into a position where I can shoot behind this island, and I'm looking to see if I can ambush this DD if he's moving into position this way or this way. My team's moving into position. I spot the Minotaur. There's the radar. And I'm just turning bow on. There's the Z-52. We're just going to focus on the Z-52. Now the Z-52 is being smart. He's smoking. The Minotaur's using the smoke. There's, there's a good bit of team play going on here. You can see that... I'm not really taking a lot of damage right now, and I've, I'm really just wrecking this Z-52. He's pretty much pinned down in the smoke. There's the radar from the uh, from the Stalingrad. Repairing the guns. That's the real danger here. If, uh, if I get a gun destroyed, I've lost half my DPM. So I've got to repair that gun. There we go. Able to finish off the Z-52. Now, I do pop smoke there just as a, a preliminary, uh, you know, get out of here instantly. That's a mistake. I should have that hydro up earlier. I didn't. But at this point, I'm not going to fool around. I am going to chase this Minotaur. I don't want this guy to be able to disappear and then have another opportunity where I bump into him. Uh, and he's just able to throw, uh, uh, just, you know, radar me from, uh, the moment I, I get, I'd spot him and deal with that sort of ambush again. So this is my opportunity to ruin this guy's game. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, one thing that will make me break this chase off, uh, is this Kerfer is pushing up around this island. He's got the six kilometer kilometer hydro. So I don't want to bump into that. So I'm just going to start turning back. But at this point, we've crushed this flank. We've eliminated their only destroyer. We've eliminated their only radar cruiser. And uh, this flank is just going to fall apart here shortly. We've got my two battleships. They're starting to push the flank. And... Uh, these guys are, are promptly going to be in a crossfire between my battleships and the Stalingrad and um, and myself. I mean, this is an AP base ship, so positioning wise, I like to take my Druid 
and park it in a crossfire position so my battleships are shooting this way I'm shooting this way and uh, they're either going to take the big damage from my battleships or they're going to take uh, you know constant DPM damage from me if I could shoot gonna keep working here if you've noticed I've held my repair uh, it's not critical yet uh, the DD is off the table so just taking advantage of slightly slightly more DPM when I'm engaging this curve first Just gonna keep circling around, and uh, the big danger here is this curve first ramming one of my battleships. So this is one of those all hands on deck situations where you guys need to do what you need to do to make sure that this curve first isn't able to to trade his life for somebody else's because he's a dead ship walking. And I'm basically just derping my AP right into the right into a superstructure over his guns and uh, doing what kind of damage I can from this position. His super the superstructure saturated, but every little bit of damage counts here. So in hindsight, positioning wise, circling around the island like that was a bad move. I should have circled back around this way because Druid is a really slow destroyer. I mean, if you look, um, I haven't even broke 37 knots. Uh, that's relatively slow as far as destroyers go. Um, so if a better move in this case would have been to circle back around and uh, take that engagement with the curfers from this direction and then push in uh, because I would already be back in over over past this island so just just something to think about when you're playing these really slow destroyers all always try to stay in the middle of the map so you can flex easier to um, to either flank because this Venezia, he's he's fast. I'm not gonna catch this Venezia. That's that's how fast he is. But I'm just gonna roll right in here because I see uh, ships that are gonna be pushing this way towards Sea Cap, and when that happens, I'm going to have opportunities to use my AP to work ships over, and uh, and you know have some impact here. So I'm not sure why, but this uh, this Sheeflin, as soon as he starts getting shot, he just he just turns completely out, and uh, I'm just gonna keep throwing shots in there the best I can. Tardy again on my hydro. Now I am going to take a big hit from this Kremlin. This is a good shot from this Kremlin. He basically pops me and then ducks right behind the island. And of course I get hit with lag right during this time. So I don't, I don't really see exactly where it's coming from. But... 
That's why you got repair parties. And at this point, 914 points on the board. This game's going to be ending relatively soon. This is another game down with the druid. Um, really, that that critical move this this game was just that that really irregular positioning that I had. Because if if there had been anything, probably any other ship lineup than that, I probably would not have positioned in that manner. But. Uh, you know that that minotaur z52 combo uh if if it would have just been the z52 i probably still would have set up looking for uh to ambush the z52 pushing into uh into the island um but yeah that that was just one of those those beautiful things that uh you get a match like that and you can just predict how they're going to play that game. And if you can predict how they're going to play, you can punish it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, invites to the community Discord and the build that I use will be in the video description. And if you'd like to support the, the channel, my Patreon account will be down in the video, video description as well. Hope you guys are having a good night and I will talk to you later.